Welcome to the Songwriter Theory Podcast. I'm your host, Joseph Vidala, and we're going to talk about music theory, lyric writing, creative productivity, inspiration, and more. I'm super excited to have you here, so let's dive into the episode. Hey friend, today we're going to talk about how to figure out all notes for any major key with this one simple rule. So even if you have keys memorized, um, this will be helpful for if you momentarily forget, you can always, based on just the name of the major key, figure out all of the notes. And if you don't have your keys memorized, this is a perfect way to start because it's one simple rule to memorize that will allow you to figure out any other keys. Although I do recommend in the future, um, Memorizing each key as it's very helpful to instantly be like key of G, one sharp, F sharp, done. That just makes things easier. Um, But for today, we're just going to give you that first rule that just makes it really simple uh, to figure out all of the notes within a major key. And today, because of the nature of what we're doing, we're actually going to link the accompanying blog post in the description below so that you can check that out because today we're going to go over three different examples of the notes in different keys and there's actually accompanying pictures in this blog post that I think will be really helpful. So if you can either look at that blog post as you listen or if you can check it out later to kind of refresh yourself or maybe it will make more sense when you when you can actually see the whole step versus half step and some of the other things that we're gonna get into. So I highly recommend checking out the blog post um, in this instance, whether you can while you're listening or afterwards because I think that will be really helpful to you. So the first thing to understand is that every major key has seven notes. And the second thing to understand, which is the thing to memorize, is that the intervals between the notes in any major key are always the same. It's always gonna be a whole step, a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. So two whole steps, a half step, three whole steps, and another half step. Um, And if you don't understand what whole and half steps are, also super simple. A half step is just whatever the next note is. So if you look at a keyboard, whether it's a black note or white note, doesn't matter, whatever is the very next note to go to, that's a half step. Whatever that is. It's the smallest interval that we have in Western music. Um, And it's whatever that next note up is. Again, doesn't matter whether it's a black key or a white key, if you're looking at a keyboard, whatever the next note is, that's a half step. And a whole step is just two half steps. That's all it is. So it's double a half step, which makes sense, right? A whole is double a half, or a half is half of a whole, however you want to see it. So let's just go through. We're going to do three examples to to prove to you that this is true for all major keys and how to think through it. So the first one we'll start with is the key of C because it is the simplest key of all. So we start with C, right? Because it's the key of C major. So we start with C. And then our rule says that the first interval is a whole step, right? So we go over C sharp to D for that first whole step. So D is the second note. And then we have another whole step, right? So we go over D sharp to E for that next note. So now we have we have C, and then a whole step to D, and then a whole step to E, and then we have a half step. And there is no E sharp, right? So we're at E, and there is no E sharp, so the next note is what? It's an F. If you look at a keyboard, there's no sharp between, or no black key if you want to see it that way, in between the E and the F. So the next note is an F. So the half step is from E to F. Then we have another whole step. So we go from F over F sharp to G. And then another whole step, G over G sharp to A. And then A over A sharp to B. So those are our three whole steps there. And then we have a half step to end it, right? So B 
half step to C because again, there's no B sharp just as there is no E sharp. So the next note after B is C. So that makes that a half step. So now we're back to C. Simple, right? Perfect. So let's take a key that's a little more complex and actually has sharps in it rather than the key of C, which is just all uh, just the white keys, right? It's the, it's the simple simple one that most keyboardists start with. Um, you just start with all the white keys, super easy, whatever. Uh, so next we're going to take the key of E major. So we start with E, right? That's the root note because it's E major, shocker. And then we are going to take a whole step. So we take a whole step over F because again, there is no E sharp. So the half step is to F. So we go over F to F sharp is our second note. And then from F sharp, we go over G to G sharp for that second whole step. Then we have a half step. So we go from G sharp to A. Then we have three more whole steps in a row, right? So we're at A. So we take a whole step over A sharp to B and then a whole step over C because again, no B sharp, right? The next note after B is C. So a whole step over C to C sharp and then a whole step over D to D sharp. And then we end with a half step, right? So D sharp half step back to E which is where we started. So now we're going to do a flat key. Um, just to prove that it's not just sharp keys that this works for. It's also flat major keys. So we're going to take A flat major. So we start with A flat, right? Because in the key of A flat major, that's the root note. I'm sure you know this by now. So then we take a whole step, right? So a whole step from A flat over A to B flat. And then we take another whole step, right? So we're at B flat right now. So we take a whole step over B to C because again, no B sharp or C flat as we would see it in this case. So now we have C. Then we have a half step to D flat, otherwise known as C sharp. But because this is a flat key, we identify it as D flat, although D flat and C sharp are technically the same note. So half step from C to D flat. And then we have another whole step, right? Because this is our three whole steps in a row. So that's going to be a whole step from D flat over D to E flat. And then we're going to have another whole step over E, a whole step over E to F. And then we're going to have a whole step over F sharp or G flat to G, and then we have that last half step, G to A flat, otherwise known as G sharp. So no matter what the major key is, it doesn't matter. If you have the name of it, you know these steps, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, you can figure out all of the notes within any major key. Thanks for listening to the Songwriter Theory Podcast. Be sure to subscribe and tell a friend. If you want to jumpstart your songwriting, be sure to download my free guide on 10 proven ways to start writing a song at songwritertheory.com slash free guide.